what is truth? Is there a universal truth? Is there something outside of our opinions? The great problem in America today is, is truth decay, where everything is just unraveling before us. And if anybody stands for truth, he looks today like he's bigoted. We're all supposed to get along. But I'm going to tell you, it's better to be divided by truth than united in error. There is a balance of love and truth. Dr. Rogers used to say it this way, it is not truthless love and it's not loveless truth. He'd say truth without love is brutality. Love without truth is hypocrisy. But love and truth is necessary. The opposite of truth is not error. The opposite of truth is sin. Y'all, I, I do not want my own truth because I don't trust me enough to have my own truth. Your experience is in contradiction to my experience then somebody has to be wrong. More than 58% of Americans reject the idea of absolute truth. So many Christians are choosing to follow the ways of the world, the thinking of the world, rather than the truths of Scripture. We need to declare kindly, compassionately, but boldly what the truth of God is. When you wind up believing a lie and following a lie, you wind up living a lie and experiencing the consequences of that lie. I've walked perpendicular to the truth and it brings pain and I've walked parallel with it and it brings blessings. Biblical truth, gospel truth, biblical doctrine is offensive these days. Well, it's not that they're wrong that it's offensive these days. It's just that they're wrong to think that's new. The standard of biblical truth has been abandoned. I think a lot of pastors believe it. I think they want to preach it, but they're so afraid they're going to make some people mad. Yes, you will make people mad. Our job is not ultimately to save America. Our first responsibility is not to preserve our freedoms, as important as they are. Our prime responsibility is to stand up for Christ and witness to this world of His grace and His power. To say it in me, Jesus is Lord. We will be civil, but we won't be silent. If we only had 10% of the Christians, the people who call themselves Christians in America today, and all 10% were on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ, we'd change this nation.